Sun Manan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are, um, if you've been following Mandy for long, you'd know Wizzy, this was definitely not expected, especially not from Umonji. Now, I do think that Umonji is innocent, though. Obviously, I do have my own judgments in terms of him not being there physically for the child. But other than that, I don't feel as a team monji is responsible that's just ridiculous it sounded ridiculous when a lot of people started calling him out and claiming that he's responsible just because omendi once dragged him on her socials um and all of that anyway monji Ngobo finally broke his silence and he said and i quote greetings all my dear family asked me to forward the message below on their behalf Open quote, it is with deepest sadness that we confirm the passing of our beloved daughter, Mandy Malabo. Mandy fell ill, complaining of a bubbling sensation in her stomach and was consequently hospitalized on the 27th of December. Her health deteriorated thereafter, which eventually led to her losing her life. Close quote. I have heard all kinds of hurtful speculations about the cause of her death and about me, but personally urge you to give her family space and grace to mourn the loss. I'm waiting for her family to finalize the details of laying her to rest, and I will then share it with you accordingly. Thank you. Right? And yeah, man. Um, this was definitely not expected coming from Monja's page. But uh, I mean, the irrigation happened in 2022. This is 2024, honey. So, I mean, baby mama, baby daddy, I'm issues. I am you know. So, maybe we should be right even. Now, my people and I also share an icon. Upalisa, hi there. Hope you're well. I thought I'd take this opportunity with permission from the family to correct the narrative. Unfortunately, I have been up and down and we have not had time to write the official statement. We will post it up tomorrow, hopefully. Mandisa passed away from pen creatitis or creatitis. I'm not too sure what that is. Her pancreas failed. She had been in hospital from late December and lost her life in the early morning of Thursday, 4th January in the hospital in Johannesburg. We are absolutely shattered. Her family will be held um her funeral rather will be held in bloomfontein her hometown next week saturday all times will be confirmed in the next week